Hi, today's tips and tricks will be how to create a purchase order by copy pasting an existing purchase order. Uh, to be honest, uh, nowadays you don't need to create anything from scratch. You should be smart enough to find an existing stuff and it can be an existing program. It can be an existing essay or something. It's always easy to do copy, paste and edit. Okay, so that's the philosophy that we that I follow and I hope most of you also follow. So we go to let's not reinvent the wheel. Okay, the wheel the wheel has been invented. You can use it and try to move to a different path. Okay, so we are now going to go to EKPO. That's the table for purchase order line. Okay, so what we did is first we went to SE60. Okay. You can use SE16N or whatever you want. Then you have to identify for which plant you are creating and which company. Okay. So I'm creating for plant 1710. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is let's. So when I'm going to select, when I get a screen like this, which is the AVLV list screen, you want to copy something. What you have to do, you have to press Control Y in your keyboard. And now you have to drag it. Drag it. To this this portions okay so we are dragging it uh, so many POs and those so many these are the lines okay and then once we drag it we press ctrl C okay now we are going to go to a new session ME 21 N that's this session to create a purchase order now what we have to go do is scroll to the right scroll to the right scroll to the right scroll a more a little okay and here there will be a there will be a field called purchasing document and item and here only the purchase purchasing document got selected not the item got copied so what we can do is we just go there and we i think we are selecting more lines but we will show you how we can delete those also so too many lines were selected we can do one by one which is time consuming but we are in the 21st century we need to be smarter so what we are going to do is the same thing control y okay go here select this portion and hit the delete button that's it you are done now what you have to do in sap you just press enter once you press enter oh see everything got copied okay now you can just hold it and then you can fix the other stuffs whatever you can think of you can fix this pretty easily now what we are going to do we are just going to hold it hold it holding means it's like similar to parking i have just created it's in preparatory phase i'm not going to send it for approval or the or the vendor is not getting anything okay so i'm going to click on hold i click on hold and here the purchase order number has been generated so lots of time you say oh i need to uh, copy this purchase order you don't need to copy you can click on this but the problem is here if you click here uh you can uh it's a it's a little bit of more work because uh so we are working smartly so you just click on this and by default sap stores the purchase order number so this is the purchase order number that you have created and you just click on other documents and voila you are back with that purchase order number that you created so today's tips and tricks was how to create a purchase order from another purchase order and you can create from multiple purchase orders imagine you have 100 you have 200 lines and then you can just create it like this pretty easily okay so uh, that was today's trick uh, stay tuned to my channel and try to provide me messages and comments and if you have any topics that you want to discuss and happy learning and have a great day